So how are you feeling about uh, your performances here, particularly over the course of the past couple of weeks? We've certainly seen some flashes from you in games as well as throughout your practice. Uh, I feel like I'm playing good ball right now, uh, other than the one play against Green Bay. Uh, just a stupid mistake by me and my own play, but other than that, I feel like I'm playing good ball. I'm in a good mental state, uh, catching a good rhythm right now, playing and just having fun out there. What are some of the things you're hoping to accomplish this season? Stepping more into the role, you have your personal goals to set aside? Um, every year, you know, I set personal goals. You know, uh, one of my personal goals is to go out there and play all all 17 games this year um, and just being you know uh, being available this year you know with the injuries and things like that really things you can't control but you know things you can help out you know extra work and stress and things like that just being available and um, just going out there playing hard and, you know like they say you play hard you know the results take care of itself everything take care of itself at the end of the day but, and I just going out there playing hard every time I'm out there been any sort of specific element of your game that you've been focusing on over the course of this offseason? The biggest thing I focus on is my eyes. You know, um, you know, seeing a lot but not seeing too much, if you, if you understand what I'm saying, you know, seeing my target, things like that. And that's really helped me slow the game down and just being able to go out there and, you know, strike my target and, you know, help me to defeat, defeat blocks easier, things like that. So. Just focusing on my eyes and you know my hand placement, things like that. The little things has uh, helped me out a long way. When you when you were seeing too much, like what was some of the information that maybe you needed to cut down on so that you could do your job uh, a little bit quicker? Just locking in, you know, um, understanding that things are moving at a different pace in this league compared to the pace you've been playing at, and um, just you know learning that over time, you know, the more reps you get, the more you know. More fuel you get for the game, it slows down. So I'm able to lock in and, you know, speed things up with my body, but slow it down in my mind, things like that. And I'm able to, you know, you know, um, able to actually see the, you know, the blocker coming at me, you know, his angle departure, things like that, and where he's coming from, where the block is coming from, the guard or the center, things like that. So I'm able to, you know, see that better. So once I'm able to see it, but I'm able to react to it faster, you know, get my feet in the ground and get my hands on the block to work the move, things like that. How physically demanding is it, especially at your position to play every single game? <laughs> it's just the world I live in, I guess. Um, I'm kind of used to it now, you know, body hurting and things like that. Uh, but, you know, playing nose guard, it's, it's not an easy position. Um, and it's a position that don't get a lot of love, I know that. But it's a position I love to play, you know, when guys look at you like, man, how you do it? I take a sense of pride in that because it's like they basically looking like, this dude, a warrior, he able to go out there every play, you know, take on double teams, triple teams, and, you know, still able to go out there and make plays. And uh, it's, I just walk around with a sense of pride, you know, being knowing I'm, that I'm the one that's able to do it and things like that. But it's also the older I get, I learn how to take care of my body. You know, uh, little nicks and things that I used to get my rookie year, you know, I just can't come back from the same. And, you know, you know, got to put an extra time in the treatment room and extra time, you know, recovery, things like that. So. Uh, as I learn, I'm learning how to take care of my body more so I could be more available. Do you go to Cam Jordan for advice on that at all since he's only missed one game? <laughs> yeah, well, Cam going to say he built different. So <laughs> that's all he said. He said, I'm built different. But uh, yeah, I talked to him a lot. You know, he said he really took him to about his eighth year to where he really started understanding, you know, the importance of, you know, taking care of your body, getting massages, things you put in, uh, things you eat, everything like that. Um, and then he just told me, you know, just, you know, get your rest. That's really one thing I started taking a lot of pride in, getting my sleep at night. Uh, like I was talking to one of the guys, today. I was talking to Jordan, and I said, man, I learned how to go home and go to sleep. I learned how to go home and watch TV, things like that. You know, don't be, you know, going places, things like that. Just go home, chill, get ready, come back to work in the morning. And that's, that come with just growing up and getting older, I guess I have to say. So uh, that's things I learned. Does Cam ever chill? Hmm? Cam that chill, though. Y'all think Cam don't chill. Cam be chilling. He be chilling. Everybody, he be showing us sometimes. <laughs> Coach Nielsen told us not too long ago that there's no necessarily depth chart when it comes to the defensive line. How meaningful is that for you and the other players in that room? To what does that mean to you guys? Uh, it means it's free game. You know, at the end of the day, we love each other, but at the end of the day, we also understand the nature of the business that we're in. Um, it's a business, a cutthroat business. I want to say, you know very demanding business, but 
when he says no depth chart, that's basically just saying, you know, you got to go out there and play uh, and let the results take care of itself at the end. And, you know, I just know if I go out there and give it my all at the end of the day, the results going to take care of itself. But I know it's off my chest that I gave everything I had to give. It's off my conscience when I go home and I can sleep good at night to know I gave everything I had. And sometimes you just don't control everything. You know. Okay, thanks. That's good. Thanks, All right, thanks, thanks. Thank you.